for our gospel be hid. It is it to them that are lost. In whom the God of this world that blinded the minds of them that believe not. Lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. The minds have been blinded. Blinded by thoughts, blinded by imaginations. In 2 Corinthians chapter number 10. 2 Corinthians chapter number 10 and verse 4. Look at what the Bible says. It says, for the weapon of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Strongholds, casting down imaginations. And every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God in the minds of men. Strongholds of error. Strongholds of unbelief. Strongholds of culture. But whatever it might be, if it prevents them from accepting the light of the gospel, it's not of God, it's of the devil. And the Bible says that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. One of our weapons is prayer. As we pray, as we intercede for them, the blindfold will be removed in the name of Jesus Christ. It will be uprooted. And their hearts will become yielded to receive the gospel. Then the next thing, we are now going to pray that those that bear the gospel, men and women, boys and girls, Christians, will not be quiet. But everywhere there's going to be an amazing readiness for Christians to be effective witnesses and ambassadors of Jesus. Where the gospel will be preached everywhere. In the buses, in the offices, wherever there's a Christian, there'll be no shortage of the gospel. And when the gospel is preached and the hearts of the people are open to receive, they will give their hearts to Christ. Let us pray. Hallelujah. Yes, as many as are not saved at this time, who Satan has blinded their hearts, we pull down the blindfold in the name of Jesus. For it is the day of salvation. It's the appointed time. Yes, the grace of God that brings salvation has appeared to all men. All men have a right. They have a right to receive salvation. To hear the gospel. And in this of redemption. We extricate them from the bondage. We extricate them. Satan has no, no jurisdiction. He has no hold over them. Their hearts are open. Yes, to accept and to receive the gospel. All over the world. All over the world. Souls, harvest of souls amongst the children, amongst the teenagers, amongst the youth, amongst the moms and the dads, amongst the men and the women, man amongst the leaders in the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Thank you. We're still praying. 